As you may or may not know, the game does not keep your wish history forever. And as officially stated, they will only be kept for 6 months, after which they will be deleted. Thus, in the best interest of preserving the wish data and just in general part of your account history, it's a good idea to back up your wishes in some way. There are a few programs or websites out there that let you back up wishes, such as Genshin Wish Export and GenshinWishes.com, but today I want to show you another such project, and it uses a good old fashioned uh, Google Sheets, and it's called Wish Tally. Feature wise, Wish Tally shows you the complete history of all of your banners. It also shows you a quick and simple glance at all of your past and current pity counts as well as uh, combined wish results, character constellations, and more. It also comes with the benefit that all of your data is stored under your control, right there on your Google Drive. It supports automatically importing your wish history using the game's API, but if you think the API method is a bit risky, you can also simply copy the history yourself from the game. It has excellent support for that, either with a script or you can just do it manually. But in this video, I will show you the auto-import option. I think it's an easier and faster option for using this tool. To get the spreadsheet, go to the URL on screen right now and select Make a Copy. Now, the spreadsheet comes with a script that allows all the nice features it has. In order to use it, we need to enable it first. The way to do this is really simple. You can just click on any of the buttons on the dashboard. You should see the authorization pop up. You can tell Google that you trust it since all the code for the script is from the spreadsheet itself under the tools dropdown anyway if you want to see it. So just do what I'm doing on the screen and click allow, then you should be all set. So what's in the sheet? The landing page is a dashboard, which contains quick access to features you will use frequently. And it's where you can quickly check your pity counters for each banner as well. At the top, you also have the quick update button, which can quickly update settings changes, as well as check for new updates for the spreadsheet itself. Update items will update your spreadsheet with new content, such as banner information and new features. Most of the time using the update items option is enough, but there is a display at the bottom center that you will see. If there is a major update to wish tally, you would need to make a new copy of the sheet. And that leads us to the box on the right, which is used to import your wishes. There are two import options. The first one, import from old wish tally, is for when you need to make a new copy like I just said, you can use this to carry over your wishes to the new copy. The second option, auto import from miHoYo, this allow you to import directly from the game's wish history after you've made new wishes. And I will show you in more detail on how to use these imports later in the video. For now, let's just look at some other pages before we start. The first one is a readme page which contains usage information, some of which is also shown in this video. Uh, there are more you can read on your own. Next up, I want to show you the settings tab where you can select your game language and which server you play on. For example, let's say I want my wishes and stuff in Chinese and I can select that. To apply the settings, click update items on the dashboard, which We'll run the script that updates everything. Just give it a minute for the script to finish running. You should see all the game items are now in the language you selected. Although if you're using auto import, the language setting doesn't have to match what you have in the game. It will just apply to what the spreadsheet uses. I was told some of the readme was also translated. And if you click update readme, you can also get a readme translation in the language you selected, if it's um, available. I'll change it back to English for now for the sake of this video, and now I will show you how to use auto-import to get your wishes in here. Find the auto-import option on your dashboard, 
Now you need what is called a feedback URL. And on PC, you can get this by simply clicking on feedback in the game. Then copy the URL from your browser address bar into this cell. If you're on one of the other platforms, you can follow these on-screen instructions to get the feedback URL. Once you have the URL filled in, click on the button below it, and just let it do its work. It'll take a while, so just wait a bit. Note that you will see which tally actually removes your URL. This is because each feedback URL is actually set to expire in 24 hours by MiHoYo for security reasons. So most times you will need to follow the same method and get a new URL the next time you do the import. As for the other mode of import, if you still remember, it's for importing your wish from older version of wish tally. Selecting that option means instead of the feedback URL, you could simply get a link from your old wish tally sheet and use that as your URL. Once it has finished running, you should have all of your wish history imported into the spreadsheet. By going to the pity checker, you will see all of your pity history. But keep in mind that the wishes over 6 months old have been deleted by Mihoyo at this point. For example, here my Chichi pity, I know it's actually 77, but now it just shows 74 which means the first three wishes I did towards that pity as well as um, all that came before those have been deleted. But everything that comes after should be pretty accurate though. Although if you have used Genshin Wish Export program before and want to add your old wishes to wish tally, there is also another spreadsheet you could use to convert Genshin Wish Export's Excel file to use with wish tally. And going back to our wish tally sheet, on the pity page you can see all of your 4 star pity listed on the left, 5 star pity is listed on the right. The yellow cells in the 5 star column highlights if the item is on banner or not, and at the bottom of the list it shows your current pity count. You can see I have 8 4 star pity and 69 nice, 5 star pity on the permanent banner currently. You might notice by default it doesn't actually show the names of 4 star items, so if you want to see them as well, you can check it in the settings here and apply a quick update. Now all the item names are shown, not just the 5 stars. On the results page you can see some statistics as well as select to see the date when you got a certain character or weapon. On the right, it also tells you how many of each items you have gotten. There's also the event page, where you can select other sources from where you have obtained characters before. Checking this will let the sheet display your constellations correctly, but if some constellations are still missing, you can also use the override function if you want it to be displayed properly. That is about everything I want to cover for now. Note that the spreadsheet is also actively maintained by its creator. Credits to YippieM. Whenever there's a new banner, you could also just use update items to pull in any new content added to the game. Overall, I think it's a very neat tool. I like the way how it presents things, and it's never too late to take your wish history into your own hands, and I highly suggest checking out this um, Google Sheet. Lastly, I want to mention there is also a Wish Tally community spreadsheet, and you can share your personal sheet on the Wish Tally Discord server to contribute your data to the community summary as well, where you can see just how everyone else is doing in their posts and compare your results. That's it for the video. I will put all the relevant links in the description, and I wish everyone the best of luck in your adventures. Bye!